astrophotographers, this short video is going to take you through why Voyager is a great choice for reliable automated astro imaging. If you've been in the hobby for any period of time, you know astro imaging is extremely rewarding, but it's a challenging hobby. You have to integrate your hardware and software with precision and reliability, and you need to collect many hours of images to get the best results. There are just too many things that can go wrong. We've all been there. You start the night with perfect focus and end with blurry images because autofocus stopped working sometime during the night. Plate solving can fail and your target can shift, even completely out of the field. Guiding problems from passing clouds or poor seeing can interrupt or abort an otherwise perfect imaging session. The dreaded meridian flip. It can happen too late, or for many reasons your software gets confused and imaging never resumes after an otherwise successful flip. What happens if clouds come through for a brief time? Does your software know how to wait until they pass and then resume? But with the correct target, given the amount of time things were suspended? Image downloads that work for hours can mysteriously hang, putting an abrupt end to things. Or worst of all, your imaging software can hang and crash, forever losing those precious hours of clear sky. Okay, so astrophotography is hard. How can Voyager help? Let me explain what Voyager brings to astro imaging. Number one is reliability. Voyager has a unique architecture designed to keep running under conditions where many software products hang or crash. Number two is support. Voyager's team provides a level of support that's unprecedented at this price, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. Number three is integration. Chances are good that Voyager works with your favorite third-party software and hardware, whether it's free or open source, or even a high-end commercial product. Number four is customization. Everyone has their own ideas of how to automate their imaging sessions. Voyager doesn't force you into using its ideas about how things should be sequenced during the night. Bottom line, Voyager helps our complex hobby by providing reliable, automated astro imaging. So how does Voyager achieve this unusual level of reliability? Let's take a look at the man behind Voyager. Voyager is the brainchild of Leonardo Arazi, a professional software developer whose day job is building real-time software for the banking automation industry. In other words, Leo is an expert at writing software that must not fail in operation. Leo also happens to be an award-winning astrophotographer with four NASA APODs, the astronomy picture of the day to his credit, and two USRA EPODs. These awards are considered the pinnacle of astrophotography achievement. Simply put, Leo knows what it takes to make a great astro image. Starting in 2012, Leo asked around the industry to see if he could interest anyone in adding some of his ideas to improve astro imaging software reliability. You see, Leo traveled to dark sites to do his astrophotography, and he simply could not afford to lose hours of imaging time due to software failures. When no one responded, he decided to start building Voyager using his professional programming skills and real-time automation software. He designed Voyager with one core principle, to keep running. He used his knowledge of software architecture to build a software product with a protected core that couldn't be brought down by problems with all the other hardware and software that by necessity must integrate. Plate solving, focusers, guiding, the camera, the mount, weather sensors, all external interfaces run on separate threads outside the core. Watchdog timers notify the core if any of the external threads fail to respond and Voyager can retry or abort the troublesome thread rather than hang or crash because of an intermittent problem with a third-party product. The bottom line, only a problem with external drivers or software that brings down the Windows OS can stop Voyager, and that's something that no software can survive. Another aspect of Voyager's reliability is the way it treats your equipment. Safety is priority one, two, and three. Just as in the world of medicine, where doctors are taught to do no harm. Voyager's first rule is the same, protect your expensive gear. For example, Voyager will automatically stop your mount from tracking if it is managing meridian flips and the mount has been tracking for a period of inactivity. Voyager also helps you configure your equipment for safety with color coding throughout. Black text means the setting is safe to change. Yellow means you should change with caution as your image quality could suffer if this setting is wrong. Red labeled settings should be changed only with extreme care and knowledge of your gears, wrong values could cause damage, such as a peer crash. 
Another more subtle form of reliability is the way Voyager prioritizes quality over quantity. Voyager helps keep your imaging between the rails. It doesn't take shortcuts that might compromise quality and leave you with blurry or poorly framed images. At the end of the night, the fewer subs you have to toss, the better. We can't promise you a NASA APOD, but the quality of your images will get better if you follow Voyager's smart defaults and let Voyager's artificial intelligence work for you. There's much more we could discuss about Voyager's signature reliability, but to keep this short, let's move on to the next topic, Voyager's unprecedented support at its price. Voyager offers several different forms of support. Online there's a forum, and not only does the community get involved, but the developer and support team are prompt with answers, often within hours of your posting a question. You can send email to the developer and support team, or contact them via the website at httpsvoyagerastro.com. And now here's where things get different. Voyager offers one-to-one -one support via prearranged Skype and WhatsApp phone calls. You get two one-hour sessions during the first 90 days after buying your license to help you get installed, set up, and running with your equipment. And you can have two more one-hour sessions during the first year to help with custom automations, so Voyager will run your imaging sessions the way you want. Voyager support is designed to make sure you succeed, and it's delivered in a way that is unprecedented at this price level. Now let's take a look at how Voyager integrates all the third-party software and hardware needed for successful astrophotography. Voyager works with one of the widest assortments of both free and proprietary third-party software of any imaging product. Whether you prefer to use ASCOM cameras for imaging and PHD2 for guiding, or the SkyX or Maxim DL for both, Voyager has you covered. Voyager works with all the popular plate solvers, both lined and referenced. You can look up your target's coordinates from within Voyager by connecting to planetarium programs such as Card to CL, the SkyX, and Hello Northern Sky. Use a cloud monitor and Voyager can suspend your automation when clouds pass through and resume with the proper target when conditions improve. You can autofocus with FocusMax, the SkyX, Maxim DL, or Voyager's outstanding built-in single and multi-star autofocus routines. Voyager orchestrates all the hardware and operations needed for reliable automation of your astro imaging. Whether you watch your gear while it works, or you like to start things up and go to sleep while Voyager takes care of imaging for you all night long. It can even take panel or sky flats at dusk and dawn, automatically adjusting exposure times to reach the ADU values you specify. While Voyager can use popular third-party autofocus routines provided by the SkyX, FocusMax, and Maxim DL, it also includes, at no extra cost, best-in-class autofocus. There's a single-star V-curve-based routine for getting the sharpest focus at the middle of your image, ideal for smaller objects like galaxies and planetary nebulae. There's also a multi-star autofocus called Local Field. It gives you the best average focus across your entire field of view, best for large objects like bright nebulae. Now let's look at Voyager's customization and see how it lets you control every aspect of automating your imaging sessions. Voyager has a great push-button GUI cockpit called the On the Fly section, where you can perform simple actions like choosing your target and slewing to it, or complex actions such as automatically choosing a focus star, slewing to it, automatically focusing your telescope, and then slewing back to your target with plate-solved error correction. You can take a single image or a whole series specifying everything needed, filters, exposure length, guiding, autofocus, meridian flip management, and startup and shutdown procedures. If you dread taking flat frames, you'll love how Voyager does it. Just specify the filters, number of flat frames, desired ADU level for your flats, and Voyager does the rest. You don't have to run wizards to calculate exposure times or take flats over and over trying to get them right. Voyager's on-the-fly workspace is a powerful tool but there are limits to what you can do with a GUI. Rather than require you to become a programmer, Voyager has created a unique proprietary drag and drop automation tool called DragScript. Over a hundred distinct actions are organized in logical groupings in a tree style palette on the right. You can create, save, and run an unlimited number of automation sequences. Just drag and drop an action to the DragScript sequence, double click it, and fill out the pop-up dialog box to tell Voyager exactly what to do and in what order to do it. Every action ends with an OK or error status, which you can optionally check and decide what to do next. 
you might decide to have your automation wait a few minutes and try again, which will handle many transient error conditions, or send you an email or SMS notification, or simply shut down operations. The icing on the drag script cake is that you can define blocks of actions to perform when external events happen, such as signals from your weather station. For example, if clouds pass by, you might suspend imaging until the sky is clear again. And by setting earliest and latest times for your targets, Voyager is smart enough to move on to the next target if the one it was imaging when the weather got bad is no longer in your desired position. With DragScript, you can automate your entire night's imaging from startup to shutdown. Voyager does the work while you relax, watch TV, or process last night's images. I hope by now the answer to why Voyager is becoming clear and you can see why Voyager can change the way you image. Voyager brings exceptional reliability, inclusive integration, unprecedented support, and full customization to astrophotography. I invite you to experience reliable automated imaging with Voyager. Visit our website and get the free trial today. Clear skies and happy imaging.